Hello and welcome to my first Blender 10 minute modeling challenge. Not long ago I found a YouTube channel called Infancia and he does amazing things during 10 minutes in Blender which inspired me to try it myself. My first video which you will, we will look at together uh, in the next few minutes um, was pre-recorded. I didn't have uh, the, the time to do the sound uh, or to, to record it live with my microphone S and also I did a lot of mistakes so I'm going to commentate it now and also take a look at the mistakes I make so you can uh, learn something out of it. So I've started uh, watching Infensia and like I said he does some blender modeling videos and I really wanted to try it myself <laughs> and since I'm not not nearly as good as he is um, I will probably improve myself a little bit more uh, throughout these videos if I keep doing them and them and I hope I will I hope I find the motivation and the time uh, right now I've really taken some time to uh, to take myself the time to record this audio for this video which is kind of important for me because a video without any audio will probably be quite boring so I will try to do this now um, just a little backstory. I have done YouTube for a time already. Um, it's been five years since then. I did some let's plays and stuff, and I've yeah, played with the thought. For, oh, I hate this word. Um, the thought of uh, doing YouTube videos for quite a while. Uh, actually, during February and January of this year, 2020. I was thinking about starting my YouTube channel again with a game project I've been working on but I've only found a little time to work on it through, uh, since then and that's the reason why I haven't still uploaded the video and actually I'm really close to finishing the, the first part of the project but I haven't finished it yet. and. Yeah, Blender is a part of it now and yeah, <laughs> anyways, so I wanted to start uh, doing a little 10 minute blo uh, blundering, yeah, Blender modeling challenge and yeah, that's what I did. I pre-recorded it like I said and now I'm going to show you what <laughs> amazing things I did. I created a, a teapot or I tried to create a teapot during 10 minutes which sounds probably sounds really easy but since I'm I was a real noob and now I'm a li little bit less of a noob um yeah it was quite quite hard anyway so I started uh, this thing talking about being a noob I don't have a cool timer yet in my vid uh, in my in my OBS so I will do it with this nice website called webur and yeah, I'm not exactly sure when I started the timer back then because I, yeah, no, definitely. Um, I took some time to delete the cube first, which wasn't uh, while the timer was running. So let's start and actually I'm going to <laughs> do my first big mistake here already, which I want to tell you about. You can see I'm trying to, or what I'm trying to do is create a teapot. So I have a base and I want it to... Uh, be scaled down a little bit so I want of course to have like a wall uh, separating the, the air from the tea inside and that means that I need some some distance between here and you can see me struggle with that uh, really hard because I try to extrude these <laughs> these uh, edges into the directions where they belong so like take this uh, pot and make it bigger, but if you use extrude it won't work and You can see that in the video and I think the next thing I'm going to try is to To take the extrude using normals which doesn't work either But it has another problem for me. Um, I Will show you how to do it exactly now. I'm going to try it um, extrude along normals which could work. Also the problem with this is that you need to select extrude uh, along normals and you need to click your mouse and drag it while if you only use either E short key shortcut 
you press E and then it moves along your mouse, which always used to irritate me until um, I found out recently how it works. So now you can see I, I've it finally achieved after two minutes to get a small and a big circle. And just so you can uh, learn something while doing this video, I think this video will probably attract some Blender noobs. I hope it will, because maybe I can uh, help you getting an easier start into Blender. So I just want to show you real quick what you I could have done. There are a few ways which could have worked. So let me just insert a circle here, go into edit, edit mode and fill it. What I've done in my video, which uh, worked, but I took quite some time to come up with it, was I took the circle. Actually, this is now the outer circle, the outer yeah, circle of the wall. <laughs> it's not wall. Wall is not the word, but I don't know. Um, of the teapot. And I used I to inset and created a smaller circle, which now, of course, leads to me having an outer circle, which I can extrude, and that's the wall of my teapot. Another way, which might be a little bit better, I'm not, not really sure about that, is you can use E to extrude and then S to scale, which some other YouTuber might have said a few million times in his videos. And then you have the same result in less time. A problem you will see by the flickering uh, face. You have two faces now, one that is from uh, that is between all the selected points right now and then one between the other points. So you have one between all the inner uh, vertices and then you have one between all oops, all of these. I can't select anything there uh, between all of these. So what we can do in this situation is we just do E and S to extrude it and then we press X and delete faces, which deletes the one face that was yeah, lying above or partly below the other faces, which was annoying. So now you can see there's no more flickering, everything works and we are happy. So yeah, that's uh, what I wanted to show you about the creating a smaller face or a bigger face, no matter what you want to do, out of a smaller face. Actually, that was the problem, doing a bigger face out of the smaller one. So, yeah, I hope this helps. Um, another thing I was thinking about adding here is one problem you might stumble into is that you have multiple faces. i just do a little tutorial thingy here before I continue my awesome video. Um, let's say you want to extrude, extrude these edges and this works, kinda, but let's take a few more. And once you start extruding these, you will see it looks kinda strange. It uses the, the median point, actually, as I know by now, um, to extrude these. So you probably, what I want to do in this case is I want it to extrude in the each individual direction. And there are two ways to, of doing this. One is you could use shift space and then hold your mouse over extrude, extrude along normals or extrude individual. And like I said, this, this was really, really strange for me. I did not expect that I had to do something else, but you need to keep your mouse pressed and you can extrude it now. Unlike if you just press E and it instantly follows your cursor. So yeah, that's uh, one way of doing what I wanted to do. Another way is you can press the the, what was it called? Period. And then select a different pivot point, which would be in our case individual origins. And if you press E now, you can see that we can do what I wanted to do as well. Yeah, so that just as a little explanation in here, because I've struggled with that, that extruding thing uh, throughout all the time in this video and in all my other builds, which I've done privately. And so maybe maybe it helps because I guess some other people will run into it as well. Maybe it helps. So let's keep going. Um, now that I had a small and a bigger circle, I awesomely struggled to select only the, the circle, which is kind of strange. Um, but yeah, so I hide the inner circle 
then select the outer circle, dehide, uh, hiding you do with H and you unhide with Alt H. I did this and then I just used Shift Select to not select the circle. I could have just pressed A to select everything and then unselect the circle in the middle, which would be a much easier way. I could also have used, um, yeah, let's let's just do, oops, all ah, right, this doesn't stop that. Um, let's just do one little other thing, a little explanation. If you want to select a circle, another easy way you can do is using Alt and then pressing exactly on the vertice. I think, yeah, oh, it works as well if you just press the, so there was no reason for me to fail with it at all, but yeah. So just uh, press the Alt key and then click the edge or the face and you will select the ring and then you can extrude it like I did in the video. So let's get back to it. As you can see I'm just trying to uh, form the, the teapot now and I've yeah, just did some, some modeling. I didn't like the, the shape it was starting to have so I just take, make it a bit larger. <laughs> a, bit? <laughs> a bit larger. And yeah, then I select the uh, upper one. You can go into the transparency mode by pressing Alt Z. And yeah, that's, that's not really <laughs> that amazing, that exciting to look at, I guess. But it's the actual modeling part I did 12 days ago. So yeah. Now we have the, the basic shape. And what I wanted to do next was to create the thing where the T flows through. I don't know the word, but like if you have a teapot, it's like a ball and then you have, uh, I don't even know the German word. So you have that thing where it flows through. And I tried to do that here, but it wasn't really that uh, of a good idea to just take two faces and extrude them because it would be really hard that way, I think. So I came up with another way. I just selected this whole a ring, extruded it, extruded it again at some point. There we go. And then I, yeah, of course I shaped it. And now I will go and use the bridge faces, I think it's called, to, to, to make a hole in it, which was what I wanted to do. So here we go into face select. I take these two faces. I don't know why I tried it now already. Of course you need to select two faces on the other side as well which I do now, um, using the transparency mode because otherwise it's quite hard to get the right ones. So transparency mode, selecting the other faces and then I use bridge faces to create a hole and do a little dance. Yeah, and so now you can already pour tea out of your teapot, out of my teapot, whatever. The next part was that I wanted to create the, the thing that's in front of it and to do that, of course, just some basic shaping of first, but now I will select the other faces. Uh, yeah, that those that are in within the wall and I will extrude those. And then actually I used the trick that I just explained here already. I extruded it and then used S to scale it down a bit, which results in, as you can see, a little, uh, it won't work if I my past me keeps shaking the camera, but you can see it here that we have a little uh, inner thing now, which I can use to extrude. And of course I uh, re re revert this and now take the whole thing since that's how a teapot works or that's how my teapots look. So now I select all of these. Uh, I've tried using the alt thingy and it didn't work back then. Maybe that was just because I clicked the face which will select all this stuff. Maybe I should have clicked the edge and I think that might have worked to select this whole uh, thing. That's a really important thing. It, uh, it depends what you select depends on where you click which sounds kind of obvious but with the alt and face select it's not always obvious. I don't know. So now we come to the best part. I try to model the, the handle, I think. Is it the handle? I hope so. In German it would be a Henkel. Um, and now, yeah, I, I just extrude two parts and now is the part where it gets really 
well modeled, really clear. First of all, I struggled with the pivot point, which was here in the middle between those two. So I had to take each face and then rotate it them by themselves. I could have used the period thing and then selected the uh, individual stuff to not have this problem. But I did it this way, extruded this, uh, rotated it a little bit. And you can already probably guess where this is going. This will be a really, really messy thing. It will be a little bit Russian, a, bit of, a little bit, yeah, you know, taking some edges, some points, connecting them with uh, some, some vertices and connecting them with edges using F, then selecting those edges again and pressing F to connect them with a face. And you can probably see already that this is amazing looking and really like I have at least 20,000 years of Blender experience. By now I would definitely do this different. I have this auto merge thingy and uh, the, the auto snap thing and I would use those to connect to the points which would be easier. Also I wouldn't create this abomination. But yeah, I did. I didn't know it better back then. I've modeled quite a bit during the past 12 days, so I've become I've become a bit better. I got a bit better, I'm not sure. So anyway, um, now uh, what I wanted to do is, and that's the next part that will take two minutes probably around, um, I want to get some soup, some tea in there. And I did it by just creating a plane using P to uh, separated to make it in an own object and now I struggled with the, the part where I wanted the tea only to be in the teapot and not outside. So I wanted to cut this plane uh, using a boolean uh, modifier which is really cool and I don't know I think I was a little bit stressed even though I hadn't had to talk back then but I was stressed. So kinda because I was looking at my, my clock and it, I hadn't even had tea in my teapot and the time was running low. So what I uh, did was adding a boolean modifier and I tried to... I, I wasn't really sure, I'll just pause this here really quick. Um, I wasn't really sure which thing needs to get the boolean modifier and is cut by which, by the other one. And if you think about it, it's pretty clear what do we want to cut. We want, we don't want the teapot to be cut by the tea, which would be kind of counterproductive. We want to the, the teapot, no wait, <laughs> we want the tea to be cut by the teapot so that we have an inner uh, face and the outer stuff which will just be removed. And yeah, that's what I find out after three, three, three tries as well. I really hope that doing these videos in English, which is quite a little harder than just doing them in German, will improve my English pronunciation because the th thing is, is really, really annoying. <laughs> not, not annoying, I, I can't do it, I'm not good at it, and my girlfriend makes fun of me because of it, but that's that's fun as well. She can really talk in foreign languages really well, but never mind. So, um, I find out how to do it, and now we have the outer face, I go into edit mode, just uh, select it all with using L, and then I press X and delete the faces, and now you can almost see what it looks like after 10 minutes. I have this uh, tea in it, I have the teapot with the really, really amazing handle. And what I'm going to do now for the last 50 seconds is try to get it to subdivide. Oh no, genau. I, I add this little thing. I extrude the face, scale it down just so it looks a little more round because I, of course, uh, while modeling I noticed that this doesn't look that amazing. But yeah, I was happy I shake I shook the camera. I think I shook it. Um okay, and now now is the time to for me to try and that's the part where I take longer than the ten minutes actually. Why is nothing happening? Oh okay. Um now I was think right, I didn't know what to do and now I was thinking about grounding it up a bit because it's quite edgy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I went to add modifier and, and found the subdivision surface, but I had in mind that it had a different name. So I, yeah, the time was over now, the time is over now, and I, what's that sound? Shut up. 
Um, I had in mind that it was something like this, but I wasn't sure because I, I knew it was something with sub in it, but I didn't know it was subdivision surface, I think it was called. And now I just uh, increased the, the subdivisions in the during the viewport, which is what we are looking at right now. And yeah, that's the teapot in the end. I really liked uh, what, yeah, let's, let's take a look at it. I've uh, modified it a little bit. Uh, do I save? No, I don't need to save that. Um, I modified it a little bit. I did a thing, which is cool. Let's just open it up really quick. Why is it purple? All ah, right, I, I removed the texture. Let's let's let me just fix that really quick. Wait, I can do it here. Oop, and then we go up and we take farbpalette.png, which results. It wasn't black back then. Why is it black now? Okay, I guess we get a black teapot and um, let's just move that to a brighter color. Why is it lagging? I guess those are too many points. But yeah, so you can uh, see I, I increased the, uh, after um, applying the subdivision modifier, uh, subdivision surface, they always say in the English video subdivision modifier, I think, or something like that. And that's wha why I was as verbed <laughs> by, by it. it being called different. Anyway, so that's, I, as you can see, I added another subdivision surface modifier and now it looks really smooth and I kind of like it if you don't look at this. It, it's, that's art, that's design, that was on purpose of course. Um, but what I really liked uh, like and what was really important for me was that you can see the, the, the T inside of it and you can look through the thing in front and I managed to do that during the 10 minutes and um, I'm, I'm thinking about opening the other things I've modeled now, but I'm not sure. No, no, I will not do that, I think. Yeah, um, that's enough. So that was the first real thing I tried to model during 10 minutes and I think I will soon record a second video where I will show my greatly improved super duper skills and yeah, so that's it for now. I've had quite some fun doing this. Bl modeling with Blender is quite funny. I like it. Um, it's also nice to relax in the evening. Um, so I can only recommend you doing it as well. And as you can see, I, I've been a large noob, a, a big noob, whatever. And now I'm a little less big of a noob, <laughs> um, at least with Blender. And so I just can, can only recommend you try it. It will be hard in the beginning and a little bit frustrating, but I'm sure you can easily do something like I did. And that's a start at least if you don't talk it small to yourself. And that's a really important thing. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little, I guess it will be 20 minutes long by now. 25, I guess. Open. Oh. Okay, it won't open. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would really like if there were some views and maybe some people, kind, I don't know, suggesting things or something. I don't know. It was a nice time back then I when I did, did YouTube back then during the, the school time and doing Let's Plays. There was this one guy called Robot, just like me, who did uh, leave quite some nice comments. So the, he was a different robot and I really, it was really nice to have some positive feedback. Fe feedback. <laughs> feedback. Of course, there were some people who were not nice as well, but I don't remember them. So um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I hope I can build up something on YouTube again. I, I'm thinking about doing yeah, more Blender videos because I've Ah, now I'm getting into my story with Blender again. I will do it at some point else. But I like doing Blender. I will probably do more videos like that. Maybe I'll do a Let's Play from now and then. I've started playing GTA 5 <laughs> not long ago. Also, I've started playing LoL again due to the quarantine stuff. Quarantine? I don't know. Also, I have, uh, I'm thinking, thinking about doing game dev videos. Maybe. And also, of course, the, the things that result, 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 that are the result of my game dev activities and so on. Maybe some political stuff. I was 
thinking about doing a YouTube channel or reviving my YouTube channel for quite some time, doing many different things, just what I feel like doing at the moment, and I guess I will do it. So, if you endured all my talking until the end, thank you for that. I'm really appreciated, and yeah, I hope to see you soon if you come again and if I do a video again. So, have a nice day and see you soon.